right? So now it's a little hard to see with my one light in the scene. So let me just change it by going game object create other and then our directional light. Let me move the light up a tad and then rotate it. And this will function kind of like a sunlight. So now that we have that, there's a little more shadow that we can see and light that we can see. Let me change the intensity a little bit to 0 0.2. Ah, that's it right there. Perfect. Okay, so it allows me to draw the um, height of the terrain. Now if I, for example, go crazy and really paint something really tall here, a big brush size and just a little opacity, you can of course create mountains at will. If you hold the shift button pressed and then paint, it goes down. So it's your reversed effect, the opposite effect of uh, raising it. Okay. Now there's that. Then the second one is actually it allows you to um, in the middle of the terrain get a flat surface at a certain height. So the height slider here that is added is let's uh, let's tweak that down a little bit. 33. So as soon as I start painting, you will notice that everything goes to 33. See that? So um, I think that's a little aggressive in this case. Let me make it even smaller to, for example, seven. Now when I paint, everything is at 7. Now you might ask, well, what do I need that for? Well, that's for example if you create roads or paths for your player to walk on, you should use this second tool right there. Okay, then also there's uh, trees uh, allowed in Unity. It's very awesome support for trees in Unity 3D. You can uh, add trees the same way as you add textures. Uh, just select your tree from the drop down and it shows you the prefabs that you have here and there so let me look for a nice tree that uh, comes with unity let me see now in this case I noticed that I don't have any trees in my um, project files right now because I'm not working off of the terrain demo or the island demo as a starting point so I have to add some trees to my project to start off with before I can add them to the terrain. Now if you do a search on your computer and you search for um, terrain demo assets you will find a folder with all the terrain assets in there. So I'm going to use this folder and it comes with the island demo of Unity 3D and I'm going to drag it into my scene view. Now if you're working off of the island demo that comes with Unity then you don't need to do this but in my case I will have to drag this in manually. Now as soon as I do that it will take a little while and it will start importing the assets that are needed for the terrain demo. Now one thing to note here is that there's a folder called Trees Ambient Occlusion and as soon as you use the Ambient Occlusion name in a folder Unity will recognize the trees in there and will add Ambient Occlusion to the tree and that means it, ha it uses the right shader to actually make your trees transparent is if you don't use this naming convention then um, it will not happen your trees will look weird and, and actually look black instead of transparent now that importing is complete let's continue and as we can see in the terrain demo assets it added bushes grass materials rocks textures and trees when the trees of course have the ambient occlusion naming convention in the folder and inside there's a couple of trees that have been made for us and um, when it's done importing you'll find that they are actually prefabs that you can look at you can rotate and it imports the materials as well and of course sometimes you can uh, fix the materials by dragging it on there and you'll see that they are transparent so this is a plant right here let's use uh, the palm tree for example let's look at the palm tree let's double check if it's correct and right now it looks a little bit diffuse so let me look at the materials that come with it put the bark in the right place Put the branch in the right place and the other branch as well. Now when I look at my prefab it looks perfect. Alright I do note that I have some errors here but I don't care right now. So let's go back to the terrain and now go to the tree section. Uh, place trees and on the button click edit trees and then add and now we should be able to find the trees in here. Let me see, we have the banyan plant. I'm looking for the palm, so let's click that one. 
and it also allows you to specify a bend factor of uh, how much it will bend in the wind um, so for now let's just leave it empty and hit add now as you can see our palm is added to the scene um, and it doesn't look like the textures actually worked out so let me see if something happened here well there is some trees right here but they are super small can you see that okay so that didn't work out too well let me uh, shift paint to erase them just to make sure there's nothing in the nothing left on the terrain so let me see what we can do to change the height so let's uh, double the height and width to, to for example 200 well I might be able to triple let's make it 400 uh, 200 is the maximum here and then that should that should work still very very small well one thing we can do of course instead of trying to change the tree size in our brush is to go back to our palm and uh, actually change the size of the import settings now I do know that my level here is ridiculously huge um, so it helps if you actually scale everything down but that would mean I'd have to recode quite a bunch of things so let's instead change the scaling of our um, of our prefab so let's for scale at 10 10 and 10 let's go with 10 on that too scale factor to 1 instead of 0 0.01 and hit apply now let's go back to our terrain um, delete this one remove tree now let's add it again our palm and now when I paint you see they're a little bigger and of course you can keep scaling that up in case your game uh, needs something bigger but as I run my game right now you can see that the trees are there they're looking good however you go right through them you can also see that the leaves are created later um, and this you know usually doesn't happen as much but keep in mind that the level right now that I am working on is ridiculously big I should actually scale my textures down but um, you know it works for now so that is how to place trees let me uh, shift paint to get rid of them again and um, of course there's also a method to actually massively place trees on your terrain say that you have um, a generated terrain uh, for a very big game like a sort of a Call of Duty kinda kinda level size or Assassin's Creed kind of a size and you want to just randomly place trees you can do that by going to terrain and then mass place trees and uh, it will um, ask you what the number of trees is that you want to place so in this case 10,000 that's a ridiculous amount but let's just go for it and as soon as I hit place you can see that it places trees everywhere in your terrain now let me undo that of course uh, you can also shift paint if you don't want them in that particular location now one thing to keep in note in mind when you're making trees for your own game and you want to make some custom trees is that they have to consist of two meshes or one uh, I mean one and uh, but maximum of two materials so and then one material for the bark and then one material for the vegetation as the vegetation will have to be transparent and the bark won't have to be so that is something to keep in mind when you're making your own trees now don't go yet we're not fully done yet I want to show you one more thing and that is the last button here settings for the terrain and you can set the wind settings which will bend your trees over time which is very cool for hurricanes or something in your game and it will also infect the grass now one more thing I need to note is that your trees from a distance are changed into billboards so basically images that rotate towards the camera to save on RAM because your tree is a 3D model the engine doesn't want to paint 3D models or render them the whole time when they're far away so it changes them into a billboard and so with your distance you can set uh, how far away a tree is to turn into a billboard so that you can uh, save on RAM but also not uh, have ugly graphics at the same time